Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a multi destination route planner in Google Maps. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And I'm already on Google Maps, so just go to Google uh, slash Maps. You can just type that straight into Google, Google slash Maps. I'm using the Chrome browser and I'm going to click on this button here. It says directions, you see? So I'm going to click on this blue button, this one right here. I'm going to click on that and it's asking me where do I want to go. So right now I'm, I'm not too far away from Ilford Station. So it says your location here. So I'm logged into my account. Here I'm logged into my Google account. So Google knows where I'm located right now, which is, uh, you know, that's okay, I guess. But we're going to go ahead and click on your location. I'm going to type in Ilford Station. So I'm going to type in Ilford Station and then I'm going to click on Ilford Railway Station. I'm going to click here. So we can consider Ilford Station to be the starting point of uh, my journey, right? So you can see that it's got a little pin here. This is going to be just the, the starting point. That's where I'm going to start. And I want to go to a place called uh, Stratford Shopping Center, which is not too far from Ilford. So I'm going to click, click here, type in Stratford Shopping Center, and then click Stratford Shopping Center. And Google is going to draw a line, a path, and then I can select the type of journey I'm doing. So if you're walking or if you're going by bike, you can click bike and then you can have a sort of a bike journey. If you're going by car, you can uh, select the car. So I'm gonna select car for now. And the red lines represent where there's congestion. So there's a lot of slow traffic here, for example. There's a bit of slow traffic here, but in between it's, it's okay, let's say. So we wanna add another destination. After we've visited Stratford to go and do some shopping or whatever we're going to do, there's a big shopping center there. I wanna go over to the next destination. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna type in Canary Wharf. And I'm gonna type in uh, Canary Wharf Cabot Square, for example. So uh, let's go ahead and click that. And then it's going to draw another line to that particular destination. So it's giving me different multiple points where I'm going to be visiting, right? So we're starting Ilford. We're going to end up in Stratford over here. This is the next point, Stratford. And then it's going to take me down to Canary Wharf. And when I'm down, finished on Canary Wharf, I want to go to another location called, it's called High Street North. So I'm going to click that. And that's based in East Ham over here. So it's going to give me directions to there as well. And then I might put on another destination at the end to my house or to some other location. So you can build multiple destinations in Google Maps. And it's going to give you the quickest route based on those destinations, those locations. So you can drag and reorder them. So let's say, for example, you had a meeting in Canary Wharf and you wanted to do that first and then go to the shopping center afterwards. You can just drag the shopping center below. And then the map will re-update and it's going to take you from your Ilford. And it's going to take you to Canary Wharf first, then to Stratford and then to High Street North. And you can just shuffle them around. So High Street North might be the first thing you want to do. That's quite close to actually Ilford. So we'll go from Ilford to High Street North, then down to Canary Wharf and then back up to Stratford. So you can just drag these around depending on where you want to uh, where you want to go in your destination. You can have quite a lot of these chained together as well. So you can have like, you know, 20 or 30 different des destinations. And this might be good for if you're a delivery company. So imagine you want to set out your delivery destinations. You could do this in Google Maps. So if you're running a small delivery company or imagine if you're delivering your own product to customers. So let's say you're a baking company, you got to deliver products to businesses or particular people, then you could put all the different destinations, just put in the postcodes and the roads where you got to go. And Google Maps will draw out the best route based on uh, the locations that you need to visit, what's going to be the most optimum route. And you can then shuffle these routes around to make it fit, um, you know, a logical route. It makes sense that we go to High Street North because it's very close to Ilford. We don't have to do that. That could be the last destination because it's on the way home. So you might shuffle it around and then High Street North will be on the way home, right? And my home is quite close to High Street North, say for example. So you can experiment with this. I'll leave you to go and play around with it. There's a couple of other things that I wanted to show you. Um, let's go ahead and click on this option here. Send directions to your phone. Because I'm logged into Google account, Google has access to my phone as well because I'm on an Android phone as well. Uh, or I've got Google, if you have Google Maps installed on there, and you've got a Google account, then you can go ahead and click on this and you can send it directly to your phone. You can send it to your email account or you can send it as a text message to your registered phone number on Google as well. So that's quite a nice feature. So if I were to click on my phone here, for example, give it a couple of seconds and then all of a sudden that um, all of this map and all of the information will be displayed in my Google Maps 
or it will send me a, a, like a link that I can press and it will all appear in Google Maps. So that's quite a nice option. Or if you want, you can also send it to someone in an email. So if you want to send this, this route to someone particular in an email or you want to send it to them in a text message or some other method, you can go ahead and click details here. And when you click details, it gives you a full breakdown of the journey. So it's telling you it's 41 minutes duration, 13.2 miles, and then it gives you a breakdown of all the different turns that you've got to do to wherever you've got to go, right? But there's an option up here to, again, send it to your phone. You can actually print the actual route as well if you want to physically print it, but you can click on this option in the middle. And when you click on that option, you can copy this link so you can copy this link, you can share it on Facebook or Twitter, but you can also copy it and then send it to someone in a text message or in an email. So if you've got a staff member and you want to give them their route, maybe they've got to go and pick up things, maybe not necessarily deliver things, but they've got to go and pick up different, uh, maybe uh, some sort of content or some sort of product, they've got to go and pick it up from these different destinations, then you can actually go and um, share that, copy that and share it with them and then they'll have their destinations and the right route to go. You can also take this map and embed it into your website. So if you wanted to, you can copy this HTML and then go to WordPress or your website. You can actually embed the map into WordPress. So um, if you was doing this as a foot journey, for example, let's go back here. And if we switch it over to foot journey, well, it's going to be a long journey, isn't it? It's going to be like four hours and 11 minutes. So this will be by foot uh, walking but you might put this up there for a charity walk, for example. So you're gonna say, we're gonna start here, we're gonna go along all these different destinations, different locations, and this is my little charity walk, and then you could go and put that onto your website. You can go ahead and click um, details, you can click this option to share, and then embed, and you can say, this is my charity walk, right? Something like this. So you, you can think of it in different ways, how to use it. This is to send a link, and this is to embed it, and this is to copy the HTML uh, to embed it. So let's just test that quickly on the basic page. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Let's minimize this. We'll create a little TXT file here, and we'll just call it um, my J-O-U-R, J-O-U-R, my journey. And we'll open up this little HTML file. This is just a blank HTML file. I'm going to cut and paste in the embed code, close this, and then I'm going to rename it from TXT to .html. Accept that and then open this. And now you can see the map embedded in the HTML page, right? You can change the size, you can do all the other things. This was just a rudimentary example of embedding that code into a page. Typically, you might embed it into a blog post or something on your website. So let's go ahead and close this. Remember that you can share it to your phone, you can share it via email, there's lots of different options um, to, to share this particular journey. Let's go ahead and minimize this. We can delete this file, we don't need it. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 700 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects. Okay, I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.